Okay. All right. Gucci man in the building. Make sure y'all check us out too. We on hotspotatl.com. You can check out the interview. Now, is there anything else that we don't know about Gucci that's that's going on? You're doing a movie. We got, we got the movie. We got the mixtape. When got, is the movie slated to? This come summer. Out. This summer. And okay. we got the album coming this June. Now, weren't there? I think there were some rumors too a while back about you and maybe Master P doing something too, weren't? Yeah, we were supposed to do a movie called uh, Get Money. We uh, we yet to start filming it yet, but he got the whole script wrote out, and it's me and him co-starring in this in this movie. So I'm excited to do it. We just haven't had the time, haven't had the time to do it yet. Is he still on it, man? You know what? I I, I remember, you know, when I did interviews. As a radio personnel, I think Master P was probably one of the best interviews that I did because he's such a smart guy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, did, did you ever, you ever really sat down and just did a real powwow? What, what's the most yeah. you ever really got from P? He gave me great advice, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he the one that told me to get started into these movies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he told me that I should, you know what I'm saying, take a situation up where I put some of my mixtapes in stores. So a lot of the advice that he's giving me, I, I, I took it. Mm. That's okay. good, because so, uh, do you run into a lot of people that try to, you know, give you the game, or most more so, like, say, try to take the game from you? I say, you know, so I got I got, I got, got Baby and Pete in my corner, and both of them always trying to give me advice. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Those That's are some big. big money names right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Also, I had heard rumors that maybe you were ex expanding your, uh, your label in... Thinking about maybe putting Young Jock on there, or maybe Gorilla Zoe. Like, is there any truth to that? I definitely like, you know, what I'm saying what's going on with Young Jock and what's going on with Gorilla Zoe. And if they, you know, I would love for them to be down with the label, but as of right now, that's not not what happened. But you know, what I'm saying? I would love to work with them. Right. Now, All you right. personally, uh, you know, being an artist, and I know a lot of artists listen to their own music. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when when Gucci get in, you know, when you in your car and you riding right now, what what's in your CD? What what are you actually rocking right now? I got Yo Gotti new album, and Rick Ross new mixtape, uh, Future mixtape, Tita Boy mixtape, and uh and and uh me and Walker for our boys. Mm, okay. Now you out of one of those names you just named. Um, one day I was confused and I thought I was listening to Gucci, but it was somebody else. I ain't gonna name no names though. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold on, man, somebody taking my voice down. You know, I just, I just let it slide, though. I ain't spoke on it on the radio yet. A lot of folks told me, told me somebody was trying to steal my style. Yeah, man, trying yeah. to borrow your style while you, you know, yeah. handling your business. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you ever felt like you've been to a point? You know, it's, it's crazy when I uh, heard Drake say on headlines, uh, somebody say. I left off. I don't. Or where did I leave it at? You know, I picked it back up. Something like that. You know, to that effect. You ever felt like, you know, at some point, you know, I, I'm not doing Gucci. I'm not elevating my game to the next level and have people who really came to you and say, "Look, Gucci, this ain't the Gucci that we used to hear, man." A lot and, of people you know, said that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, uh, unfortunately, my my Ferrari Boys CD wasn't when me and Walk put out. We we kind of rushed that. It wasn't a huge success. And uh, even the CD I dropped with, with V Nash wasn't a huge success. But my mixtape was a huge success, you know what I'm saying? So I took that as a challenge, you know what I'm saying? That I wasn't, uh, I need to get back to what I do, you know what I'm saying? So I, that is definitely true, sir. It mm -hmm. has been a lot of times like that. But I just, any time that I, ain't, I don't hit them good with something, I just try to come back harder. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Also, since you mentioned uh, Waka, um, you know, I heard some, you know, sometimes family don't get along and, you know, whatever. What is the current situation between you and Waka? Are y'all good or, like... That's my boy. I said, was at the studio last night recording. Okay. Yeah, he worked So everything's... Everything's, everything's on, Gucci. Everything's <laughs> Gucci, but between me and Waka, we're going to always bump heads sometimes, you know what I'm saying, because we like brothers. Okay. So, you know, but we always get past it, you know what I'm saying, no matter what we go through, we always get past it, man, and... and and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we're dedicated to each other because no, no matter what we, 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 get it, we, we get into it about, you know what I'm saying, we try to work it out. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's now, real, real, real friendship. Yeah. yeah. And uh, speaking of that, you know, um, we know, all know that you guys lost a, a very dear friend in uh, Slim Duncan. Talk about a little bit, like for people who might have not really known Slim, his music and, you know, his legacy, uh, uh, just go ahead and tell us a little bit about Slim. That's something we probably don't know. The Slim man, he was a, he was an all around great guy, man. He was like one of the most loyal people that I ever met, and he just was an unbelievable talent, man. And uh, 
I hate that he lost his life and, and, and so so young, you know what I'm saying, because he was on his way to, to big things. He was the next thing coming out of the A, mm. hands down. You know what I'm saying, so many other rappers were embracing him and just, you know what I'm saying, passing the torch to him and, and just doing everything, doing features for him, cameos, allowing them, to, you know what I'm saying, him to get on their songs. He was, he, he had a he had a good shot. Mm. Okay, yeah. rest in peace, Slim Dunk. Rest in peace, Slim Dunk. That's family right there. Okay, all right, that's what's up. Well, you know, I got to get credit to Gooch, man. Every time we ask him, we're like, hey, man, you going to come to the show? And every time you see me in the club, he's like, sir, just tell me when. Just tell me when, and you so always you know, come through. my boy, man. You don't miss that nigga. Anything y'all need from me, I'm going to beat up for y'all. That's Trap what's up. Now, the mixtape is out right now again. It's called what, Gucci? Trap back. Trap back. Make sure y'all go pick that joint up. Y'all, make sure y'all let us know what you're riding to. Make sure you hit me and uh, Shanika and Gucci on Twitter and tell us what's the hot joint that we need to be playing on the radio. Gucci 1017 on Twitter. You already know. All right, it's out 179.